Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in this video I'm going to be showing you what looks to be quite complicated but what is actually pretty simple just sort of tap to change interaction with planes and uh, just some stuff in the patch editor. It's not overly complicated. I even have, if I remember at the end, a tap to change uh, instruction which will appear at the beginning and then fade out after a few seconds. So this just taps red, green and blue quite simple let's just open a new project and get started I'm gonna pause this one and minimize it so that it doesn't crash my computer and then I'll make this full screen uh, right okay so what we're gonna do is create a plane we're gonna add a plane uh, and we're gonna add another plane because we're doing red green and blue uh, red uh, orange and green like traffic lights so we'll name these planes one, but just one, two, and three for simple for simplicity's sake. I'm not even going to change the shape or the size. I'm just going to add a material layer. This is all just demonstration. You can adjust any of this as you like. So this is material for layer one, and then we'll create material layer two's uh, materials layer <laughs> material layers two and three. Sorry, my tongue is all over my mouth today I don't even know I can't speak three so now we have our we have our three planes and we have our three layers for these planes uh, and we can adjust the color so we could change them to uh, the red green and blue that we're after I'm gonna red uh, green and <laughs> we're not doing blue are we <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting we're doing orange. So yep, now we have our red, green and yellow uh, traffic lights ready to go. What we need to do next is uh, open up our patch editor, which is down here. Sorry, this one feels a little more complicated just because there's some, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say, but uh, I think I got it. I think I got the hang of it. So basically you open up the patch editor and what you're going to want is a screen tap because we're interacting with the screen. So come up here to the right of whatever device you're using and change it to simulate touch which will bring up this cursor so you can tap on the screen. Right now it does nothing but when we interact with this using our patch editor it will allow us to change the colour. So you want to double tap down here and it will open up this menu and you want to search first of all for a screen tap which is the simplest way of interacting with the user and the screen and we're just going to have that set up over here you have a lot of space you can move around it's, the patch editor is pretty cool there's a lot of stuff you can do but this is quite a simple tutorial just to get the hang of things so we've got the screen tap and then what you're going to need next is a counter and the counter will uh, connect up here to the increase so basically this will every time the user taps on the screen this will increase the counter by one uh, up to a maximum of five you can increase or decrease this to your liking we'll probably change that in a second but for now it's the default at five right next thing after that you're going to need is uh, equals exactly and this is part of the logic pack so if you come back and I'll show you this is inside of the logic section this is all basically just functions that work similar to programming languages booleans true false statements things like that uh, for now we're going to be using equals exactly because we want for each count uh, that this increases by one we want to be able to say a, if it's zero we want yellow if it's one we want green you understand and because uh, it's done in computers uh, this in, in computer programming typically things start with zero so if you've got zero to five then it actually goes zero one two three four and then it comes back around to zero because zero start zero is technically the first number in the sequence so we we'll have exact equals exactly is our next one we'll connect that up uh, and then we have three of those so we'll copy and paste uh, three of those you know nice and we can and the handy thing is you can just move them around you can put place them wherever you want so you can kind of zoom out a little bit and arrange if things aren't looking too efficient you're not happy with where they are so there you go I got those there uh, and now you want to come up to all of these 
and where it says visible you can make each individual layer visible or invisible by checking and unchecking that box so if I do it for this one you'll see now it's invisible so the green layer number two is visible beneath but we want to use all three of these at once and we actually don't want to check this box we want to come over to this little orange tick uh, this little orange arrow and we want to check that box instead which will create a new patch inside of the patch editor for each of these that we can move around and drag and connect up to our sequence so now we can connect all of these to our equals exactly and add it to everything that we've got so far uh, and right now when we tap you'll see it doesn't do what we want so we have to adjust these numbers right now we have uh, it's on sequence number four so it'll get to five and then it'll come back and because it's on zero it's here and everything's visible and the top layer so what we want to do is we want to change this to zero we want to change this to one we we'll change this to two and then because we've now done and completed our sequence we want to change this to three which means it will return back to zero and start the loop over again so Hopefully, now when I click around, it just goes through the cycle of red, green, and uh, yellow. Why do I keep wanting to say orange or blue? I don't know, it's weird. So yeah, basically we have this now all set up, ready to go. Uh, and before we go any further, I just want to quickly add some instructions. So if we come up here to our device, which is the nest of all of this, uh, and under custom instructions, we'll create instruction on opening. This will add this patch, and this patch, and it, this patch, and they all tend to just fall awkwardly wherever they will in the middle of whatever you're doing. But if you drag them out of the way, then we have this now. This is our uh, instructions patch, and we'll enable that by going into the property setting, and under capabilities, we'll enable instructions, custom instructions, and in this case, we'll be selecting tap to change. There are quite a lot of others, but for this case, all we need to do is copy and paste this, select done, and then add the token. Once we refresh, you'll see the instructions on the bottom. So now the user knows when they use this app that they need to tap and there is interaction that will cause a change. Uh, so now for the next part, if I drag it and switch over to my face cam, you can see that it's here and it works, but it's not quite tracked onto my face just yet. Right now, these are just planes, just flat surfaces on the screen, which which is fun. You could probably do some cool 2D animation if you want to just mess around with it like this. But uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to add a face tracker and add that and move it up above right here and then where I control selected all of these before so I can make this visible I'm going to now drag them inside of the face tracker so that they're nested which means that they're following around on my face I can still click and change the color but as you see it's now just completely whatever I want over the top uh, and now while I have them all highlighted I can come in here and I could do this individually one by one and move them around wherever I want but for the case for this for the purposes of this we're just gonna move them around a little bit up and down to the left and right I can even scale them if I want and now I have this box just sort of floating on my head and there you go I can click around you can even you can even move around the uh, x and y axis the, the z axis I mean you can move it further towards the camera or towards yourself but this is a really simple version of what I hope will be just more tutorial more not not I say tutorials more like videos of me learning how to use this and create different types of effects and different things with Spark AR uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this it's really uh, like something that I'm enjoying a lot especially making videos like the whole thing just getting into the habit of doing it every day coming up with a thumbnail and a title and a thing to do and make it's all uh, I don't know it's like inspiring me to keep going especially with people watching <laughs> I wasn't expecting that not so quickly anyway uh, if you do like the video leave a like subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought whether you want to see anything else I have a lot more videos planned but uh, 
I like struggle to motivate myself, especially to film them, because I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing before I start filming, and I'm not rambling, or <laughs> or at least I leave it to the end like I am now, <laughs> sat here with a green square on my head. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. That's Police Siren. I imagine you've probably heard all of the traffic and all of the screaming. Sorry about that. I'll see you next time.